never before this morning has this hit me clearly, and I don't recall it even occurring to me before. Maybe I sensed it. I've had no right throughout my life to give anything other than myself because I've had no right to anything other than my share of the world's resources, the reference point being our four billion brothers and sisters. Now, there's an interesting wrinkle of stewardship. Have I had the right, have I had the obligation to be steward of more than my share, which for whatever reason has been put in my hands, I had that right and duty, but I went so far aside of that, as my saintly dad did, my beloved dad, his greatest error. Maybe I made it to a lesser degree, but not much. Oh, the wealth that I acquired for what I thought was the noblest purposes, my biological dependence. Oh, how I slathered it, how I gave it, but it wasn't mine to give. It's not my role in life to judge Bill Gates, but I'm aware I've been unable to be one of his fans in these altruistic years that he's had. He didn't have right he didn't have rights to the resources that he's giving away. It wasn't his right to take it to begin with. The world's poor, the world's middle class didn't go to his door with sacks of money and put it there. It wasn't a gift from them. No matter how we want to stretch our imaginations, he took it. through leverage. I'm only singling him out because he's so lauded for all that he's given, the billions. It wasn't his to begin to, to, to begin with, and it wasn't mine to begin with. There's a parable I've long loved. I forget who Jesus was talking to, but apparently they were in the temple, and he's spoke of observing several people several people that um, that was uh, Tina with her morning Saturday morning coffee run he spoke of observing several people putting money in a collection place And then a woman, an old woman, as I recall, putting in two bits of money, two talents, two farthings, whatever. And he said, she's put in more than all because they put in out of their surplus and she put in out of her need. Here you go, sister. Yeah, I'm not working. No, no, no. Oh, come on down. Come on down. She's parked there. She's given out of, out of her need. They gave out of her surplus. And what I saw this morning was a deeper level to that. And I see it clearly with gratitude and with sadness over my decades of mistake. 
the hundreds of thousands of dollars in resource, I don't know, million? To a selected few that I gave, it wasn't mine to give. My life was mine to give, my surplus. Using as a reference point our four billion brothers and sisters, the, the cup of coffee and the extra, the cup of coffee and the sandwich I was about to give this, uh, this homeless sister that just walked by. That was mine to give. My time is mine to give. My life is mine to give. But any surplus isn't mine to give, it isn't mine to have to begin with. 